Every Tier 69 session is initiated by a CWMP endpoint that is looking to deliver an event. These events have different delivery requirements, using language such as must not discard, must retry until reboot, may retry, and must not retry. What happens when the CPE tries to deliver an event but cannot reach the ACS? Tier 69 defines an explicit session retry policy to deal with this scenario. An unsuccessful session is considered equivalent with an undelivered event. This means that a successful session involves the completion of the inform RPC. That is, the CPE makes the inform call and the ACS responds. A session can be considered unsuccessful if the inform RPC never completes. As far as the CPE is concerned, ACS has not received the events. Every inform RPC the CPE makes contains the retry count argument. This number is reset to zero after every successful session. When a session is unsuccessful, the CPE follows a session retry procedure. Each time it retries a session, it increments the retry count by one. In the CPE data model, under the management server object, there are two parameters that control this behavior. CWMP retry minimum wait interval in seconds, and CWMP retry interval multiplier in milliseconds. These default to 5 seconds and 2,000 milliseconds, respectively. The CPE waits to retry the session after a random time between the retry minimum wait interval and the wait interval plus the retry interval multiplier. This time is random to prevent large numbers of CPE from all trying to reconnect to the ACS at the same time. If a new event requiring a session occurs during this period, the connection is retried immediately. When it does retry, it increments the retry count to 1. If it fails again, it increments it to 2, and so on. Each time, it increases the random wait interval range exponentially by a factor of the interval multiplier converted into seconds, and picks a random period to wait in a range generated according to the following formula. The previous maximum range becomes the new minimum. The new maximum range becomes the CWMP retry minimum wait interval times the interval multiplier in seconds to the power of retry count. For example, with the defaults, the first range would be 5 to 10 seconds. On the second retry, it would be 10 to 20 seconds, and so on. This reaches a maximum range after the 10th retry. If you have any questions about Tier 69 or CD Router, be sure to check out our collection of training and testing guides at www.qacafe.com university.